If you have a one-handed backhand, then you need to watch this video because there's one position in particular on the Tsitsipas backhand that you need to copy. Now, this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis on YouTube. Thank you so much, Liam Appalato, for letting me use this. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I put their link in the description below. So, Stefanos, gorgeous one-handed backhand. And this is the position. We'll go right here. This is the position that you need to copy. Let's check this out. His strings are facing directly off to the left, but I want you to notice that it's because of his elbow and hand position. Look how level from his elbow to his hand, look how level his forearm is to the ground. This produces a very vertical racket. You see most recreational players have a low elbow, and what that does is it tilts the racket back, so the racket is wide open. Now, there are some pros who have a wide open racket. I remember when I was a kid, James Blake, his racket was wide open, but it's very difficult for recreational players to copy that position. When you turn with your racket, man, is this good? This is called on edge, Vic Braden, on edge, where somebody behind you can only see the edge and your opponent can only see the edge, as we can see here. When you're in this position, it makes it so easy when you drop your racket to close the face. Notice his strings are facing down. Closing the racket face prior to hitting the ball makes it so easy to hit topspin because then you can swing up and spin up the back of the ball and get the ball to spin. And when you have topspin, it's super consistent. But the reason or one of the reasons why recreational players struggle closing the racket face prior to hitting the ball. And, and by the way, this is kind of a secondary tip that I'm giving you in this video is you want to make sure you close your racket face. But without this on edge position, it becomes this position right here. It becomes much more difficult. So I want you to film yourself and make sure that your back elbow is up and that from your elbow to your hand, it is level to the ground. That will have your racket very vertical with your strings facing off to the side rather than your racket being wide open with the strings facing up. Having this position with the back elbow up, allowing you to close the racket face is going to make you so much more consistent. Now, to help me demonstrate this technique, I've got the Topspin Pro here. To get your own, you know what to do. Use my affiliate link in the description below. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. It's in your best interest when you take the racket back on your one-handed backhand that you get into this position. You'll notice that my racket is straight up and down. My racket's not closed, nor is my racket open. If there was a crowd of people to my side, and since I'm right-handed, that's my left, if my racket was a mirror, they would be able to see their reflection in the mirror. I'm not gonna reflect the sky, or here in my basement, the ceiling. I'm gonna reflect the people directly to my side. This position makes it very easy to then close the racket. When your strings at the bottom of the swing are tilted down at about 45 degrees, then hitting topspin is super easy. And topspin is the way we lift the ball up off our racket, but then bring that ball down into the court. Tennis is a lifting game because there's a net in the way. So we want to hit up over the net, but have something other than gravity bringing that ball down. Well, if we want to spin up the back of the ball, it's in our best interest to have the racket face closed at the bottom. But many players struggle closing their racket face because when they take the racket back, the racket is laid open. If you go out and film your backhand and you see yourself in this position, you're making it harder to be more consistent on your one-handed backhand. Because when your racket face is laid open because of a low elbow, and you can see if I raise my elbow, how that changes at my racket position, and now I'm reflecting the, pers the people to my left. When my elbow is low and my racket face is open, let's say the racket's open at 45 degrees. Closing my racket by 45 degrees just gets my racket on edge. Where if my racket is on edge here, where again, I could take a coin and balance it on the top of the racket, just what we saw with Tsitsipas, when I close my racket 45 degrees, now my racket is actually closed. See, when your racket is straight up and down on edge, where I could take a coin and balance it on the frame prior to hitting at the bottom of the swing. That leads to the racket being open when I strike the ball. And that's what makes people hit out all the time. That's why beginners hit over the fence all the time, because they have their racket straight up and down in the back. 
And then what they don't realize is as you go to the ball, your racket face naturally opens. And that's when you'll see them start to make another mistake. They think, oh, I should roll my racket to try to get it square against the back of the ball. Well, if they make that rolling move too late, the ball goes out. If they make the rolling move too early, the ball goes in the net. Every so often they'll time it perfectly, racket straight up and down, the ball goes in and they say, why can't I do that every time? Because you can't, it's too difficult to time that roll. What's better off is by having the racket face closed and that way you can just swing to the ball and you got your racket face exactly the way you need it to spin up the back of the ball for topspin. So finding this on edge position with the back elbow up is gonna make it so much easier to drop, close the face and spin. Now, there's something actually before this turned position that can help you get into this position and that's having a great ready position where your elbows are out. I like to tell my students, I should be able to smell your armpits, get your elbows out. You don't want your elbows in, in your ready position. It's not called a starting position and it's not called a waiting position. Why is it called a ready position? Right? You wanna be ready for the next move that you're gonna make. So yes, you wanna be balanced and split stepping as your opponent hits, but work on having your elbows out in your ready position. Then when you turn for a backhand, your elbow is already up. You won't have to find it. Your elbow is already up and then when you turn, both hands on the racket, strings facing the crowd, the crowd can see the reflection in the mirror. It then makes it so easy to close the face and spin. So let me hit some backhands. You're gonna notice my elbows are out, my turn position, I close the face, and it's so easy to hit top spin. I know that you can see the top spin pro spinning. See, when you get the top spin pro, you can film yourself. You don't have to go to a tennis court. That's the position right there. Elbow and hand, same height. The crowd can see the reflection in the mirror. I drop and close, just like we saw with Tsitsipas, and then spinning up the back of the ball for topspin becomes super easy. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play against, maybe look for stronger opponents, maybe you're looking for practice partners so you can work on your technique, or if you're looking for a coach who's close to you who's gonna help you with your one-handed backhand, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Work on this turned position, elbow up and reflecting the crowd to the side of you with your strings. And there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.